Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, wherever you are, and welcome back to another Rec Room video. In today's Rec Room video, we have a bit of news, some bug fixes, and some things that I just kind of want to talk about. Though, to get us started, there was actually an item inside the shop that had recently got added into the shop. This item happens to just be the samurai armor, though, so, uh... If you aren't aware, Requiem also had their Requiem Gallery Showcase, so they had that video up and stuff like that. Feel free to watch it if you guys really care. It's basically just a showcase of a bunch of artistic and cool inventions that you can purchase inside of Requiem, basically. Now, something cool that I wanted to talk about inside this video is the Barbie sets. Now, you guys may not have noticed this at first, but with the new Barbie collabs and stuff like that, with these items, if you wear them with full-body avatars, you have different pants as well. So it's sort of like a quote-unquote onesie, and that's kind of what we'll be referring to these items as. As. We'll talk a little bit more about that later, but to get us started, basically whenever you would go into full body avatar mode with this actual set on for the first time, it wouldn't work. You would appear with like default clothing and stuff like that, and you wouldn't have this actual set on. I'm pretty sure the same thing would happen with the Ken shirt as well, because they're both onesie items for full body avatars. Now, ever since I've done it, my, you know, full body onesie outfit has been fixed. So I'm pretty sure you just have to do this once, and it's a pretty simple fix. So if the shirt doesn't appear while equipping it in full body avatar, switch to a saved bean outfit, or you then want to go to your customization menu, put the Barbie shirt on, and then switch to full body avatars. Then it should fix you, but if it doesn't, feel free to let me know. And if you guys are curious about how the Ken shirt looks like in full body avatars, there you guys go. Pretty cool, I guess. Now, this is like Requiem's first iteration of items like this, especially for full body avatars, so I can't wait to see what they're going to do next with new items. And yes, if you guys still want more confirmation, this Requiem developer, Jode Animation, says yes, that's correct. It's supposed to remove whatever pants you have to wear, this one piece on top and bottom outfit slots. I really do hope that these, you know, bottoms do become detachable though. I would love to be able to, you know, put these on different outfits. Also, believe it or not, the carpets inside your dorm room were also updated to be a lot slimmer than they used to be. If you played old rec room, you knew how big this actual carpet was inside your dorm room, especially if you were messing around with your maker pen inside your dorm room. So hopefully we won't be losing anything inside the carpet anymore. And uh, yeah, just, uh, just an update that happened. Now, in the meantime, a Requiem player had also found out that there's this new checkout UI, which I don't believe I talked about inside my videos yet. This checkout UI basically becomes its own 2D UI inside your watch, and I honestly like the layout a lot. I think it looks really good. Of course, what are your guys' thoughts, and feel free to let me know if you guys have seen this in-game. And, the fact that we're inside a dorm room also leads me into my next piece of news. Someone got into Coach's dorm room! Now, it was told to me from a person named Maddox, and he said that to join, you just needed to go onto mobile and then click on the dorm room icon on the actual feed. This dorm room shouldn't be your own dorm room, but Coach's dorm room. And once Maddox was inside of it, randoms could join him as well, which even further solidified his point. So, super weird bug. I tried this on PC and stuff like that, and it didn't seem to work. I even tried going through the doors and stuff like that, and that didn't work. So I think this is only like a mobile thing, but I'm honestly not too sure. It most likely is, and feel free to try it out if you guys really want to. But he did get into Coach's dorm. He did. And for our last bit of news here, so when I noticed that inside your permission settings, Requiem actually had this little misspell. It said the permission changes will take effect across all active room instances immediately. So it's just kind of funny. Shout out to Beans, the person that found this. Pretty funny thing. Now, admittedly, there honestly hasn't been a whole lot of news recently, but that does lead me into my new segment. I have a whole bunch of bugs I want to show you guys, so let's get into this whole can of worms, literally. This Requiem player had found out how you can make your bean body avatar hands actually appear on the weapons and things that you hold. If you actually have a bean body avatar and you're holding like a gun for example, and then decide to switch into a full body avatar, drop the gun, pick it up as a full body avatar, and then switch back into a bean body avatar, your hand will appear there. It was sent to me by a person named Plastic Bag, and big massive shout out to him. If you guys have felt like flinging yourself inside a rec room, it's pretty simple to do. If you guys get the brown chair from your maker pen palette and then config it to make it so it's grabbable and then holster it on your back so you'll have to enable you know back holster permissions for this now then when you try to grab the sit message it is easier if you exit into third person and then go in back into first person to try and grab it then but once you grab this actual sit message and you kind of sit on the chair you fly super cool bug and it honestly isn't anything new just thought i'd show it around so Requiem could probably patch it talking about Requiem bugs this Requiem player actually had a timeout and was able to be inside the rec center they had this whole reddit post talking about it and stuff like that and had a video proving it so yeah that's interesting uh i don't know what happened there 
And for our last bug, with the scientist coat, you guys can see this little like, you know, pixel right here, like right in the middle of my chest. That shows like the inside of my chest. That is entirely invisible, chap. What? What's going on there? I think you could see it a little bit better on the UI and stuff like that, but yeah, you guys can kind of tell that that's like the inside of my chest right there. That's so weird. And one last bug I just want to say real quick. This Reckon player was completely invisible like he couldn't talk to people he could only interact with his surroundings and stuff like that a legitimate ghost you have to check out this clip let's roll it there's a maker pen i think you're just a maker pen song wait for maker pen that's, that's too easy don't be don't be <laughs> 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 look you're just a maker pen Oh, there's nothing. It's just a maker pen. I'm being attacked by a. Uh, I'm being attacked by ghosts. Hi. <laughs> it's not following him. It's just right here. I see his camera. <laughs> Hey, look, I'm gonna send this- I'm gonna send this to the Discord, it looks hilarious. Okay, it's moving when you pick it up, that's the real thing. Oh. Oh. <laughs>Did you guys know that I have channel memberships? That is right, I have my own memberships. And people that actually give me their hard earned cash once every month. So massive shout out to all these people which are BBB Burning Owl, Zipical, Carl the Skunk, Greg Streams, Random Person GM, Jack Tutorial, Guinea Big Plays Plus, Bucket Guy, Yo It's Jakey, Trevor A, Raphael, Cloud, Netflix69, Fox David, and Dozer Blade Cat. Thank you guys for supporting me for so long. Some people have supported me for over a year. And I really, really do appreciate it. Now, let's get back into this actual video. And to be quite honest with you, that's pretty much all the news, all the bugs, and pretty much everything I have to say in this actual video. There's not a whole lot of news, so I'm sorry that I couldn't, you know, share anything like news breaking or groundbreaking with you guys, but I still hope that you guys enjoyed this video despite everything. Before I wrap things up here, I do want to say that I actually think I'm going to get a sponsorship with a gaming chair company pretty soon, so that's pretty lit. We'll wait and see what happens then, but of course, I will let you guys know if things go through or not. To top that off though, if you guys actually enjoyed this video, feel free to like it, I would greatly appreciate it, and the YouTube bot algorithm really really likes the video when you guys like it. It's like a help me help you type of situation going on, and of course if you guys didn't know, I actually have a code inside of Recro. My code is SK0L, and you guys can just type in SK0L, or you guys can go through the hassle free method of going into my profile and clicking that support button. Some basic rules that you should know about my code though is that it disappears every 45 days, so be sure to check if you guys are still supporting me in game and if you're not supporting me why not and if you guys want to go watch more Recom news content go check out my latest video where i talked about the weekly some Recom news and you know just some bug fixes i uploaded it a few days ago and it's over eight minutes so of course feel free to give it a watch it's goaded be sure to subscribe bro fist Nee!